Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you exactly how I designed this calendar or you can say desk calendar in Autodesk Fusion 360. As you can see, this calendar has four components and here they are. I am going to show you exactly how you can design this calendar using Autodesk Fusion 360. Here are the dimensions of the product and the tools and commands I am going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First of all, I am going to create a new design by going to file and select new design. The unit I am going to use in this tutorial will be millimeter. Create a new sketch on the top plane. Go to two point rectangle. Change it to center point rectangle. Select the center as the origin and give it a dimension of 120 by 180 millimeter. Press enter. Draw another two point rectangle horizontally aligned with this line. Give it a dimension of 70 by 120 millimeter. Now I'm going to draw two rectangles on this part of this big rectangle and on this part of this small rectangle. So here they are. Give it a dimension of 3 millimeter by 60 millimeter. So it will come up to the half of the length of this uh, big rectangle. Do the same thing here. Width 3 millimeter and length 60 millimeter. Press enter. Now Press D to go to sketch dimension command. Select these two lines and provide a vertical distance of 20 millimeter. Repeat the same thing here. Okay. Now I am going to trim out these unnecessary portions. So under modify go to trim and trim them out as follows press escape arrange the dimensions properly so that you can uh, have a clear look of the sketch okay now Provide some fillets on these corners. So under modify, go to fillet. Select this edge and this edge. Provide a fillet length of 7.5 millimeter. Now start selecting these edges simultaneously. So the corners will be filleted up to 7.5 millimeter respectively. Repeat the same thing here, but this time you can select the corners. Press enter. You can hide the constraints. Here is our sketch almost ready. I'm going to add some little bit of sketch later. So for now, finish sketch. Go to extrude command, select these two profiles and extrude them up to a height of 3 mm. Press enter. We have provided uh, this group of width 3 mm. That's why uh, I have provided the extruded height of 3 mm. Now I'm going to draw some groups 
on this uh, surface or basically I can say on this product so create a new sketch the surface has been already selected go to two point rectangle select the first point somewhere here and give it a dimension of 8 by 3 millimeter I am giving width of 3 millimeter everywhere because the MDF board which I am going to use um, for producing this product will have a thickness of 3 millimeter draw another rectangle of same dimension here 8 by 3 millimeter okay press D to go to sketch dimension command select the upper sides of these two rectangles and provide a vertical distance between them as 35 millimeter select the top side of this rectangle and this edge of our board and give a vertical distance of 50 millimeter select these two edges and provide a horizontal distance of 5 millimeter done now for these two groups I am going to create an ankle here so select on two point rectangle first point will be horizontally aligned with this corner as follows and the second point horizontally aligned with this corner so our height is by default as you can see 43 millimeter so I'm going to type 43 for our height and for the width I am going to take a width of 12 millimeter okay uh, time for the second rectangle the second rectangle I am going to draw will be horizontally aligned with these two corners of the rectangles first point here and the second point will be horizontally aligned with this corner okay as you can see the height of this rectangle will be 27 millimeter you don't need to type 27 just uh, give the width as 6 millimeter so as you can see the width of the bigger rectangle is 12 millimeter and the smaller rectangle is 6 millimeter now trim out these unnecessary portions press T to go to trim command trim out these lines now I am going to provide some fillets on these corners. So go to fillet, select this corner and provide a fillet radius of 2 mm. Select the remaining corners. So automatically 2 mm fillet will be added to each of the corners. Hide this constraint option so we can have a better look of our sketch. Yeah our sketch is almost ready or I can say it's completely ready finish sketch go to extrude command select these two rectangles drag them downward make sure the operation is selected as cut and the extend type all so it will cut throughout the whole body press ok our sketch has gone in order to turn on the visibility of previous sketch go here and turn on sketch 2 go to extrude again select this profile provide an extrude distance of 3 millimeter press enter now I want to create the similar groups on the opposite side so I am going to mirror these two groups 
in order to do so go to create and click on mirror object type features for the feature i'm going to select this extrude for the mirror plane this left plane compute type optimized and click ok here the groups have been mirrored now hide sketch to i'm going to assemble them but before assembling all of the bodies i need to convert them into components to do so i can select individually them and make them create components from body or i can directly click on the bodies right click and create components from bodies so all the bodies will be converted into components now i can assemble them so first go to joint for component one i am going to select this portion of component one or our body and it will be aligned with this portion of the body okay let me rotate it to 90 degree or minus 90 degree and it will be sliding in this direction go to motion preview the motion yeah it is sliding in right direction so click ok time for this ankle go to joint again now this surface of our ankle will be aligned with this surface of the body or you can say the group body okay we have to rotate it ninety degree and shift it little bit yes it looks good and let me see the motion hmm, it is sliding in opposite direction or wrong direction so change the slide to z axis or y axis yeah it is sliding in right direction so click ok now i am going to create a mirror of this angle in order to do so under create go to mirror for the object type component select this angle and for the mirror plane select this surface as you can see our component has been mirrored successfully click ok but it is not joined to our body as like the others so go to joint or i can do it uh, by another way revert back to original position under assemble go to s build joint since the position of the ankle and our body is uh, accurate so we can use as build joint for the component select the ankle and the second component as the body it is asking for the snap position means the motion here is given as slider so it is asking me in which way it will slide i can select this axis it is not working let me select it again component 1 as this body and component 2 as this body for the snap the sliding option now it is working properly so click ok our calendar is almost ready 
now i need to turn it so press m to go to move command move object components select all these bodies rotate it up to 65 degree yeah it looks good capture position and click ok here is our calendar ready now if i pull this part of the calendar as you can see the calendar is not rounded that's why the whole calendar is moving revert back to original position select this part or component here this is right click on it and ground it so this part of the body or the calendar won't move whereas these parts can slide okay now you can see the ankle and this sliding part are overlapping with our main body in order to fix it revert back to original position and under assemble enable all contact so the contact between the components will be activated and there will be no collision or overlapping of each other now if i slide it it can slide backward but if i slide it inward you can see after certain point it is not sliding inward the same thing happens with these angles it can go outward but it won't go inward however if i press some apply some force as you can see this may be a bug from fusion 360 i don't know whatever it is but it works like this way don't need to pressurize it in order to provide some color press a to go to appearance I'm going to provide this wood ash glossy color on the calendar or on the whole component assembly. Here is our calendar ready. I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial. See you in the next video. Till then, keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.